What's up guys, Tech Bro Trawler here and today we're going to be taking a look at the OBSBOT Tiny. So here we are in the new normal, upgrading our work from home setups. So that means keyboards, monitors, chairs, and of course, webcams. Whether you're a student with classes or a professional with a bunch of online meetings, a webcam is a must. So here I am to tell you why the OBSBOT Tiny is a great upgrade for all that and more, especially if you want to create content. Okay, so starting with the box, it looks nice, premium, and minimalistic, and has some of its awesome features listed at the back. It came with the usual stuff like a cable and papers, but it also came with a nifty magnetic mount for monitors, and Digital Walker even sent me a mini tripod with the package. That's if you'd rather place it elevated on a table, but if you'd rather just pop it there without the tripod, it's fine. Design-wise, it looks pretty cool. I love how it kind of looks like a cute baby gimbal. Which it kind of is since we have two axis movement here, but what for? That's because the OBSBOT Tiny is an AI-powered PTZ or pan, tilt, and zoom camera. The camera is able to identify your face and basically follow you wherever your head moves all while being compact and very portable. The OBSBOT takes it one level further by putting in simple-to-use gesture controls. Simply raise your hand and wait for the three blue lights to flash and boom, the camera will follow and track your face. And it does it surprisingly well. If you do ever end up hidden or out of frame, the camera automatically goes on standby mode and stops moving around. Then if you make a pinching gesture or an L, which I personally use, it digitally zooms into your face. And yes, it can do both at the same time. Even when it's zoomed in, it still accurately tracks your face. That's all pretty cool, but what would you need it for? Everyone is going digital, so if you have some classes and you're a teacher, you can just walk around your room and show different props or even a whiteboard if you want to. It also works great for vloggers, like if you're trying to make a cooking vlog and there's no one there to assist you. You can easily go to different sections of your kitchen, all while making sure you're in frame. The possibilities are endless. Workout videos, dance videos, and more. And of course, if you're a streamer, it'll add a lot of dynamic to your setup since you don't have to feel so constricted when reacting to things. The camera will simply follow you even if you throw your head back or stand up. Next up, we even have some built-in omnidirectional mics with noise cancellation. And for me, they do sound pretty decent for webcam mics. In fact, let me pull up an audio sample. Mic test, mic test. This is the mic of the OBS bot or OBS bot. I'm actually using Streamlabs OBS to record this and maybe they named it OBS bot or OBS bot because maybe a lot of people would want to use this for streaming on OBS. Not bad at all and it's perfect for classes or if you have meetings. And finally to top things off, yes everything is easy to control out of the box but we do also get a nice user-friendly software for some extra features that are extremely easy to use. And here's a quick run through. Alright, so we're here in the settings of the OBSBOT Tiny Cam, and here we have one OBSBOT connected over here. AI tracking, so you can turn that on or off. Of course, we want that on since that is what makes this uh, webcam special. We can also choose to manually zoom it. So instead of the usual using the gesture and getting the direct two times, you can get increments instead. You can also put the device to sleep over here instead of pointing the camera downwards. So you can press this and it's sleeping. Resume to turn it back on. Then we can also reset the gimbal to center it or we can even manually control it just in case you want to use it for vlogging or you're showcasing something on the side and you don't want it to necessarily just trace your face. So if you want to show like maybe sneakers or or a new computer, but you're not in the frame, you can use this. To the right over here, we have even more settings. So software version, firmware version, always update that. I got mine updated a while ago. Gesture control lock target and gesture control zoom. You can turn those functions off if you want to, but of course we don't want to. And gesture control zoom factor. So if you do the gesture, the L 
or pinching gesture over here, uh, you can actually set it to be less than two times. So if you wanted to just zoom in like by 1.5 times, you can set that over here, but I like it at two. Next is tracking mode. So there's headroom mode, which is what I was using. So it always kept me in the middle of the frame. Next is standard mode, which doesn't always keep me in the middle, but it does always track my head. And last is motion mode, which if you're doing faster gestures like going around the room or maybe even doing a workout, this will be super useful. Next, we can configure the video. So that's where we can adjust stuff like brightness, contrast, saturation, all that stuff that will affect the picture of the webcam. After that is anti-flicker. So if you have any screens in the background that are flickering, you can choose 50 hertz or 60 hertz or turn it off. Then we have preset position, which actually makes some presets. So if you have different setups that you want to use this webcam for, like B-roll, A-roll, or you know different things, then you can set them up over here. Here we have initial boot position, which is really useful if you're not using the OBS bot in the middle of your setup. So all of us have different setups like me. I'm using it on top of my monitor. And because of that, I have to make a different initial boot position that's always going to be facing me if I'm sitting down in my workstation. Then here we have global hotkeys. So if you want any shortcuts in case you don't want to do the gestures, like maybe if you're in a meeting and you don't want to do the gestures, you can actually set some hotkeys. And last is remote control. So if you don't want to use this software, I'm sure you can use or connect a different remote control so you can move the Ozbot or the gimbal around if you need to. There you have it, the nifty Ozbot Tiny. If you're thinking about getting a webcam upgrade, this is definitely one to look at. Not only will it be useful for standard webcam tasks, but its many other features make it a great tool for even more activities like vlogging, streaming, and more. And you can grab your very own Obsbot Tiny from Digital Walker for 9,990 pesos. If you liked that review, please do check out our website and please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yep, subscribe because when you hit 250k subs, we're giving away a smartphone. So don't forget to use the hashtag sub to unbox. Hit the notification icon if you want to get updates when you drop videos. Once again, it's your tech bro Chala, and I'll see you guys in the next one.